There you have it. The grand conclusion, Mario comes out on top with the most gold medal wins. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that I'm probably biased, that I went into this trying to prove that Mario was better than Sonic, that I chose events that would purposefully make Sonic look bad because that's kind of my whole thing on this channel. I'm always dunking on Sonic for some reason. But the truth is, Sonic was always destined to lose. <laughs> Um, hi, I'm JPig. Uh, the clip that you just watched was a uh, part of MatPat's video explaining why Mario would beat Sonic at the Olympic Games. Well, not the normal Olympic Games by any means. Around six months ago, MatPat started a project to declare the true winner of the Olympics, or the Weird Olympics, as he states. As you just saw in the past clip, MatPat stated that he was not being biased, but I'm here to call falsehood. That's right, Matt Pat is being biased, even if he doesn't know it, and I can explain why. So, the age-old question is, who would win in a no-bars-hold competition between Mario and Sonic? Matt Pat wanted to answer this question, but doing further research, he realized that Sonic would come out on top in almost every event in the Olympic Games. So, he decided to go off-book and pull out some old, discontinued Olympic Games to pit Mario against Sonic in. So, I'm gonna take a look at each of the events and decide whether or not Matt Pat's biasm is showing through. Let's get started. First and foremost, Matt Pat never established a rule set for where he would be getting his examples from, but he does establish them later in the videos. One rule is no sports related games, but dipping into the sports based games is kind of what we're trying to avoid here. No Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Now, I know that both Mario and Sonic play soccer in the Mario and Sonic Olympic series, but I'm trying to look for their experiences outside of that specific franchise of games. Everything else is free reign, and the first event is solo synchronized swimming, which I believe Matt Pat had fair judgment on his part. Mario has been seen in his games to swim way better than Sonic can. Everything seems accurate, so let's move on. Point to Mario. Motorsports. Again, another fair judgment on MatPat's part, since we know that while both Mario and Sonic have kart racing games, Sonic actually races heavier cars that are faster, and not only that, he also has more time spent in motorboats than Mario does. Two points to Sonic. Club Swinging. Now, while this is a really stupid event, again, I don't think there's anything wrong with MatPat's judgment here. Mario's just used to swinging around big heavy objects with accuracy more than Sonic does. It's just not something Sonic does normally. Point to Mario. Now, Pistol Dueling. And this is where we start to see MatPat's lack of research on Sonic's part. First off, he mentions how we never see the companies depict their characters with guns. To which, I have one thing to say to you. Shadow the Hedgehog. Most Sonic fans connect one word to the Shadow the Hedgehog game, and that word is guns. Now true, it's Shadow using the guns and not Sonic, but MatPat later establishes in his second video that we don't have to see Sonic doing it, we just have to see Sonic characters doing it. If they can do it, Sonic can too. And then later in the video he says, if you don't see Sonic doing it, then Sonic is not doing it. I mean, really Matt, come on. Stay consistent, please. Anyways, if this is not enough for you, well then, I have one more ace up my sleeve. Has anyone heard of Sonic Shuffle? Sonic Shuffle is a minigame collection much like Mario Party, uh, but worse. Now we can use Sonic Shuffle for Sonic since later MatPat uses Mario Party for Mario's case, so it stands to reason that we can use the same for Sonic. There is a minigame in Sonic Shuffle that shows Sonic using gun, and that minigame is Sonic Gunslinger. The point of the game is to stand in one spot, aim your gun, and shoot your target. So as we can see here, Sonic does have a game where he uses a gun. I honestly feel like this is a better source than using the comics, since it's actually an in-game thing. Now, I know this still leads to the whole thing being a draw, but what it does show is how Matt didn't do really any research on Sonic's part when it comes to guns. He didn't even know about Shadow. So that left off part one as a draw, but it's part two where things really start to break down.
Town planning. Now, I agree with MatPat on this one that Mario has more experience with building than Sonic does. So, yeah, point to Mario. Moving on! Equestrian high jump. Now, I feel like this one is actually MatPat pandering to Sonic, so the whole thing does not appear rigged. This is where Matt gets a bit wishy-washy with his rules. According to Matt, you don't need to see Sonic on the horse for him to be able to ride a horse, you just need to see his friends do it. And we will come back to this point later. However, I do feel Mario's case is actually stronger here than Matt Pat claimed. He says that we've never seen Mario ride a horse, and that's true. But we have seen him ride something else. A Yoshi. Yoshis are dinosaur-like creatures that have been frequently showing up in the Mario franchise, and their main purpose is to be ridden by Mario. I mean, sure, they're not horses, but Mario rides them like one. It's more experience in riding than Sonic has, so I feel like this should have been a bigger case for Mario than Sonic. So again, I feel like this one should come out in a draw, since Mario rides Yoshis like all the time. Now, this part is important, because this is where Matt Pat establishes the rule that he wants to stay away from sports-based games. So remember that one. Air Balloon Racing. So again, I agree that Mario would win because we see him use balloons a lot more in his games than Sonic, but you should also remember how he said that Sonic would probably be disqualified due to having someone else control his balloons. It's an important point for later. Point to Mario. Fishing. So right here, Matt Pat discredits Sonic fishing because you don't see Sonic. But wait, he said earlier you don't have to see Sonic doing it, you just have to see his friends doing it. So if Sonic friends can do it, he can too. Also, the game is called Sonic Fishing. I don't think Sega meant for anyone else to be considered fishing than Sonic. Draw. Bowling. Now, while Mario does have more bowling games than Sonic, the fact that Mario controls his bowling ball after it has left his hand is grounds for disqualification, especially since Sonic can get disqualified by letting someone else control his balloon in the balloon race. Point to Sonic. Cricket. Uh, again, I feel like this one has fair judgment since we've never seen Mario play cricket, so... Firefighting. Okay, so, Matt Pat outright says that Sonic would run away with this one. So he slaps the stipulation that both contestants must use traditional methods. Well, guess what? Flood does not count as a traditional method. We don't use floods to fight fires, and they certainly didn't have them back in the 1900s. Draw. Gaelic football. So again, Matt Pat uses two sports games from the Mario series to say that he could play soccer, even though he was saying he was trying to avoid them. But it's the next one that really bugs me. He uses a cancelled Mario football game to justify Mario's capability at the second half of the game. An unreleased Mario football game means Mario can do football. Well then, if that's the case, Matt, then we can do the same for Sonic. Because guess what? Sonic has a cancelled sports game too. Back in 1995, there was a Sonic game in development for the Sega 32X called Sonic Sports. This game was to include sports such as basketball, volleyball, and soccer. Oh, we got him! If Mario's gonna use his cancelled football game, Sonic can use his cancelled sports game. Now, I know this is only half the battle for Sonic, since Gaelic football is a mix of soccer and football, but I feel like this is important to remember for a later event. For now, point to Mario. Mario also gets two points for American and Australian football. Jeu de Pomme, which is basically tennis. And Matt Pat used sports games for both of his points. So again, draw. Corf Ball, which uh, I guess is a bit like basketball. Matt Pat stated that Sonic had no experience with basketball, but as we established earlier, Sonic can use his cancelled Sonic sports game to his advantage. And since basketball was listed as one of the games, we can call this one a draw. Savat, Glimma, and Budo. Yeah, I feel like Matt Pat was right here since Mario doesn't really have any fighting games outside of Smash Bros, and Sonic has at least two. So, three points to Sonic. Now that we have more extensive research for both participants, we can adjust the score accordingly, which changes Matt Pat's 10 to 7 for Mario to 7 to 7. And this is all ignoring one of the most crucial parts of these games speed. While there are some things that Sonic can't control, like how fast he can fly his air balloon or his ability to design buildings, Sonic can beat Mario in most of these games just due to his speed. Pistol dueling. While you need accuracy, you also need fast reflexes, which Sonic has. Firefighting. Again, Matt Pat did claim that Sonic would have this one in the bag because of his speed. Gaelic football. While Sonic might not know the second half of the sport, I feel like his speed should be more than enough to make up for that. Jeu de Pomme. Since Sonic has faster reflexes, Mario will actually never be able to score against him. Korfball. Again, Sonic's speed on the court would dominate over Mario. 
In the end, I just think it's clear that MatPat didn't put as much effort into researching for Sonic's behalf as he did for Mario. I know that MatPat has shown Sonic in the negative light a lot, but he has done the same to Mario as well. I mean, ruining childhoods is literally the tagline of the channel. But while he may not have intended to come across as biased as he did for this video, the results speak for themselves. Mario and Sonic are not created equal, which is why Sonic had to be toned back so much for the Olympic Games to work. But the purpose of this type of conversation is to ask, who would win in a no-holds-barred competition? And MatPat didn't do that. He just slapped more restrictions on Sonic. But hey, that's just a theory. A game theory theory. Well, that's the end of the video. Uh, if anyone has any additional arguments or counter-arguments, uh, be sure to leave them in the comments. Thanks. Bye.